Hello, all you healthy blood pressure warriors. My name is Ingrid, and I want to welcome you to the HealthyBloodPressure.com channel. High blood pressure is a common condition throughout the world. Many factors contribute to a rise in blood pressure. Some of these factors include genetics, poor diet, sedentary lifestyle, and smoking. Another big factor is stress, and this is true for both physical as well as psychological stress. Stress can have many causes. A leading cause around the world is an unhappy or a failed marriage. So, is your marriage increasing your blood pressure? If you're in an unhappy marriage, maybe it is. There are studies around this subject and we're going to look at them. I'll also talk about what to do if marital stress is harming your heart. So, what do the studies say? Studies linking marriage and blood pressure go back to as early as 1991. The Health Psychology Journal published this study. 24 women and 19 men participated in this study. All of the participants were already dealing with high blood pressure. The researchers asked couples to discuss a threatening topic for 10 minutes. They monitored the participants' blood pressure throughout the conversation. Both men and women had increased blood pressure during the heated conversations, but the cause of this spike varied by gender. Women experienced a rise in blood pressure when they talked about threatening topics, but men experienced a rise more due to the speech patterns rather than the content of the discussion. In both genders, marital conflicts seem to increase blood pressure. In 2000, another study looked at the relationship between bad marriages and high blood pressure. A group of scientists from the University of Toronto conducted this research. More than 100 men and women participated in this study. These men and women already had mild hypertension. They filled out a questionnaire describing the quality of their marriage, and then they wore blood pressure monitors for 24 hours. For three years, they kept notes of time spent with their partners and the quality of that time. All this time, they wore blood pressure monitors. After three years, the researchers measured their blood pressure again. They compared all the readings with the quality of the time spent with spouses. The study found that couples with a lot of negativities in their marriage had higher blood pressure after three years, and the reverse was also true. Blood pressure lowered in those who had more positive times with their partners. Another study researched the effect of marital status and relationship quality on blood pressure. Annals of Behavioral Medicine published this study. In this study, 204 married people and 99 single people participated. The researchers found that married people had better blood pressure levels than singles but only if the marriage was a happy one. Social interactions in singles did nothing to change their blood pressure. Happily married people fared better with or without social connections. Those in unhappy marriages had blood pressure levels worse than singles. In 2014, a group of scientists from Harvard and Brigham and Women's Hospital in Massachusetts conducted a trial. In this study, 325 people enrolled in a trial for dietary approaches to control blood pressure. 52% of these participants were men, and 48% were married. All of them were on a blood pressure controlling diet. The researchers monitored the nighttime dip in blood pressure in the participants. A healthy nighttime dip is essential for normal blood pressure. Elevated nighttime blood pressure indicates heart issues. The study found that more married men than women had a significant dip in nighttime blood pressure. This indicated that marriage is a factor in maintaining healthy blood pressure levels and preventing heart-related conditions. But this factor existed more in men. So let's talk about how to deal with stress-induced high blood pressure. If an unhappy marriage is making your blood pressure worse, tell your doctor. It's unlikely that an unhappy marriage or being single is the only factor for your high blood pressure. There could be genetic factors and other issues such as weight gain and lifestyle issues. 
In addition, there could also be other psychological factors in addition to a bad marriage. So it's important to talk about your life situation when you visit the doctor. They would continue to treat your high blood pressure with medications. This is because keeping your blood pressure in check with medication is vital. But they could also point you to resources that could help you cope with your marital stress. Marriage counseling is one way to begin to improve your relationship and many other things help with stress in general. These are things you could do on your own. They include meditation, exercise, running, yoga, and joining support groups. Singles may also deal with high blood pressure that's triggered by not having a partner. Counseling and stress reduction techniques could help as well. And do remember to pay attention to other aspects such as diet and rest. All of these factors contribute to keeping your blood pressure under control. In summary, it has been shown that our marital relationships certainly do affect high blood pressure. It is not known to cause it, but it definitely has a major impact on it. If you find that your marriage is good and positive for the most part, then likely your relationship is a protective one, meaning that not only does your spouse better your life, but they better your health too. However, if you find that your marriage is draining and filled with negative interactions, then it's time to put more effort into your marriage. Your efforts will improve your relationship, decrease your stress, and improve your heart health. Hi there, if you suffer from high blood pressure like I do, and you want to receive my educational videos about how to lower your blood pressure, I'd like to ask you to do three simple things right now. Number one, click the subscribe button right there. And then number two, click on the bell icon right down there so that I can notify you the moment I release a new video. And number three, watch another one of my more popular healthy blood pressure videos right over there. Okay, thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.